Howdy and welcome back to the channel everybody where we go in search of wildlife photography. I'm Doug Wallace for the Wildlife Gallery. As you can see we're back here at Eagle Bluffs Conservation Area. It's in Boone County, Missouri just outside of the university town of Columbia. This area consists of about 4,430 some acres of wetlands and uh, nature preserve. Uh, you know, it's named after the bald eagle, but like I said in another video, you can really come here on some days and wonder how it got its uh, name of Eagle Bluffs. You just simply won't find one, but then there'll be days you'll show up here and you'll find uh, a dozen uh, bald eagles. But it'll be a lot of waterfowl here as well, so that's what I'm doing here today. I'm really looking for waterfowl. I've got an area in mind. Uh, today's January 26, 2023, and uh, about the southern portion of the area is closed off until February 1st, uh, and that's just to give the uh, uh, wildlife, uh, mainly the migrating birds, a place uh, to land and feed and just be birds undisturbed. But there is an area that we can get to. I'm going to set up there and hopefully get some uh, uh, mallard ducks. Uh, if you saw the last video that I put out on Eagle Bluffs, uh, those mallard duck uh, flight shots I got was at that little body of water. So that's where I'm headed back to today. So come along with me. Let's get back in the truck and let's get into the area and see if we can find some wildlife to photograph. Mainly uh, mallard ducks is what I'm looking for. Thanks for tagging along. Let's jump in the truck and get into the area. We're just getting into the Eagle Bluffs Conservation Area here. It's uh, 10 after 3 on January 26th. And uh, like I said at the intro there, really looking for mallard ducks is what I'm looking for today. Now, I'll, I'll just consider it a bonus if we find an eagle or a hawk or an owl or something like that. But uh, we got a couple, of, a couple of hours here before sunset, so I'm just going to find a spot uh, where the wind and the sun and all that kind of plays into uh, me getting some flight shots. Uh, of ducks and mainly mallards. That's what I've been seeing here the most. Uh, last week I did uh, see some shovelers as well. But uh, anyways, that's what we're looking for today, guys. I appreciate y'all tagging along with me here on the channel. All right, guys. Man, that was fast and furious. I just pulled up here to the first little thing of water and just, I don't know, three, four dozen mallards right here. A bunch of them took off and I just parked and uh, just been getting just like that there. <laughs> just been another one just come in and landed. So a bunch of them took off. They just must be circling around and then coming back. And uh, this, this pool here is just perfect because uh, uh, I got the sun behind me. The sun's just right on all of these birds. And uh, the wind's west-northwest. So here comes three more right here, guys. Three more mallards right here. I'm going to video these. Nice. <laughs> Got video of them guys landing in here. That's coming in sideways, just absolutely perfect. I I don't look at the back uh, of my screen or anything like that because uh, sometimes it just gets me dejected before I get home and get to start uh, really looking at all of the photos. But uh, anyways, it's uh. uh it's just 3.20, so we still got a couple of hours yet, and uh, I've already got several hundred photos. Uh, so anyways, I'm sure there'll be a keeper or two in there as things go, you know. But uh, really watching the histogram, I'm finding out with my setup. Uh, I, As you all know, I'm using the 
Canon 100-400 to Mark II lens. I do have it adapted to the R5 and I have a 1.4 extender. So uh, my minimum aperture with that in there out at 560 millimeters is f8. And uh, uh, excuse me, with, uh, with this bright sunlight, I think I'm probably going to stop it down to f10. Off to my right here, here comes another duck flying this way. I don't know whether he'll circle around and come this way or not. That, that is a shoveler there. That's not a mallard. So I don't know whether they'll come in or not, but anyways, I wanted just to turn y'all on here for a quick second, let you know that uh, didn't take long for action to heat up here on the mallards that I was looking for here on the Eagle Bluffs Conservation Area in Boone County, Missouri. Uh, look it up uh, at the end of the video. If you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to give you a little bit of a history on, uh, here he comes. It was a mallard. He flew off that group over here, turned around, and just come right in there. I probably was moving too much on that one there. Um, but uh, anyways, um, hey guys, it's uh, about 20 after four. I'm still at the same spot here on Eagle Bluffs and uh, just got wave after wave of mallards coming in. Uh, I don't know how many uh, shots I've got today. Here comes one. I'm not going to get him. He's behind some brush. Here comes two more. Five more. Man, this is awesome. They're landing a little short on me at the moment. They're behind some trees. Oh shit, here's a dozen of them. Just piling in here, guys. <laughs> I'm just hitting the buffer which is rare on this R5 to hit the buffer. Another one landed behind some trees. There's got to be 200 mallards out here. I mean, we have mallard overload is what we have. So I want to be a little bit quiet. I'm sitting in the truck. They're, oh, they might be 100 yards from me. I'm going to guess about 85 really but I've, I've got a bunch here I may even try shutting the uh, uh, stable image stabilization off on the lens uh, since I'm at 2500 shutter f8 and I am running auto ISO uh, but uh, I also watch the histogram and if the histogram isn't where I want it the one good thing about uh, even though it's in auto mode when I hit the meter, I have the ability at that moment to switch um, uh, the ISO on that. And I've been doing that. A bunch of ducks just took off here too. So anyways, I'm afraid this video might get a little long today, guys. I'm going to shut you off for the time being. And then I'll fill you in here in a little bit uh, about uh, uh, what I've got. Wow, guys. It is... 5 p.m. Stick you inside here so you don't get the wind noise. But it's 5 p.m. January 26th. I have filled up one entire memory card of Mallards in flight today. So that's what I was hoping to get done. Really try and hone my craft at birds in flight. So Naturally, I'm not going to know how well I did until I get home and put stuff on the computer, but uh, I'm positive with an a entire memory card full of uh, flight shots today and some video. Uh, there'll be a few of them that'll turn out, so I'll be sure to share those with you. And uh, 
anyways, yeah, it was a really nice day uh, to get out with the camera, the R5, got some more uh, ducks here. I'm just, there they go. Those are shovelers there. But uh, anyways, it's 5 p.m. Uh, right in that golden light. And uh, the mallards had uh, slowed down from coming in and landing there. So I thought maybe I'd just uh, make a short drive down through the area here. See if I'd find an eagle or a hawk or maybe an owl sitting along the road here in this good golden light. So anyways, guys, I'll catch up with you tomorrow when I start piecing uh, a video together to put out on the tube. As always, thanks for tagging along with me here. Wow. That's all I can say is, wow, what an epic day I had yesterday shooting mallards on the wing in flight, really testing my shooting ability and my camera's ability. What else could a wildlife photographer want? Well, for one, to have a better keeper rate than I do. So I filled up that entire memory card yesterday. I had 15 different videos and I believe 1,611 still photos. And every one of those were action shots, mallards in flight, you know. So out of that, I had a roughly 200 keepers, ones that I would say are keepers. Uh, so for me, that's just a pretty unacceptable uh, keeper rate. You know, for static situations, I feel like I have an 85 to 90 percent keeper rate. And uh, anyways, I'm just really working on my technique and really wanting to push my game to be a better uh, bird and flight photographer than what I currently am. I just, uh, 200 out of 1,600, I don't know what that math is, but uh, that's pretty dismal in my book. You know, but one thing I will say, uh, you know, I have the R5, the adapted 100 to 400. And yesterday I, I had the 1.4 extender, version 3 extender on as well. And I do find that with that extender on, the autofocus does hunt a whole lot more than it does uh, when I don't have it on. You know, but naturally I was looking for reach. It was bright sunshine yesterday afternoon, so all of that was good. But it I don't know whether it's my technique or my setup. I do kind of feel like, you know, yesterday those uh, mallards coming in to land, I felt like I was pretty solid with my technique, but I could also hear the motor on my lens really hunting. And... Uh, I would have thought out of 1,600, I'd have had 1,000 keepers, and maybe I'm being unrealistic, but anyways, I just felt like it, I feel like it should be better than what it is. So today, I came back out to the bluffs, hoping to try out uh, the expanded AF instead of the zone. So with the zone uh, yesterday, uh, when I would uh, engage AF on, I could hear the motor kick in, and sometimes it would lock on the bird coming in, but it would also dance around. So I think that's what's going on. I believe the camera is just getting confused and missing focus in those situations. But maybe it's me. Maybe I'm moving too much. Uh, one thing maybe I need to try is shutting... Um, you know, the IS, the stabilization, need to sh maybe shut it off. I've watched some other videos of guys, and they say from 2,500 on up shutter speed just to shut that off, uh, that it could actually counterbalance your movement with those highest shutter speeds. So I need to try that, but I was also wanting to try out this uh, expanded uh, AF zone where it's a pretty big center point with nine individual points around it. Um but I wasn't able to try that today. I just find out, and I kind of figured that before I came out anyways. It's a Friday, and uh, I found some burrs, and I found some in flight. But, uh, you know, some of these uh, people 
don't have uh, very good ethics. <laughs> if they see somebody else parked with a camera out the window, they all want to rush up there and see what you're getting a photo of. Well, that just spooks uh, what is there away and then prevents uh, other birds from coming in and landing there. So anyways, I'm headed home. Uh, thanks for watching uh, this uh, mallard uh, frenzy, I'm going to call it, uh, here at Eagle Bluffs. It was really a pretty epic day for me. And I got one red tail hawk that flew by the truck really close, really stellar photos of them. Probably the best red tail hawk photo I've ever taken. So anyways, guys, I'm rambling here. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos. I really do appreciate it. And remember, be safe while you're out there getting your wildlife photos or whatever other photography you do with whatever camera gear you do it with. Just be safe. I'm positive somebody at home would like to see you again. Once again, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll catch you all on the next one.